All right, we're back. We've got some more boys here. Mirko, Jerick, Sam Gruggan, assistant coach. Can't forget the important title there. Um, obviously, Bankstown boys, Sam coaching uh, Mirko at, at Bankstown last season. How was that as a coach for him? Um, yeah, I didn't coach him last season, actually. I wasn't last season? I'm no, wrong already. Um, wrong I, already. I tried to play last season. It didn't really happen. <laughs> uh, I coached him when he was a junior, so two years in under-16s as a bottom major and a top ager. So uh, he was always a talented kid, but I never kind of – I've never told him this. I never – led on like I knew who he was or knew how talented he was at 16s but um you know he was always going to make the team as a bottom major um but no from there he's just you know continued on developing and progressing he's become a a great player and a great young man now Mirko without getting the head swelled head on that one but uh oh, hang on, <laughs> I've never heard that in my life that was like a big step. did you think um did you did you think you'd ever see Sam again as a coach for yourself I think I did. He was always involved with the NBL teams. You know, he knows a lot of guys there as well. So I thought, you know, his time would come. It was rumours last year and then, you know, this year it happened. So. Yeah, obviously for yourself, you had a good off-season at Bankstown. Uh, you, lot, you lit it up, actually, looking at your figures and that kind of stuff. Yeah. What was the difference from going back home and doing it back down there? Just refreshing, man. Sort of just going back to my roots and just, you know, playing freely without, you know, just no thoughts. So that's what I'm going to try to do this year and, you know, just play freely. Excellent. Now, and Sam, obviously, it's a great thing for you to be an assistant coach here under SD. He's uh, lead you along and teach you a few more little steps along the way. Yeah, he definitely has. It's a, it's a definitely a step up from juniors. Um, you know, I, f I realized that the first couple of weeks being here, but I've tried to make the adjustment, and it's definitely a learning curve for me, and I'll continue to learn throughout the year, and I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. Now, obviously, um, this one here, what's, what's he need to do to crack the starting five? Because it's a tough. It's going to be a tough gig to get into that backcourt. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, you know, he, he's shooting the ball really well. Um, and he's proving that with, with his shooting scores that he's got. He just needs to be, keep being confident shooting the ball because he knows that. He knows we give him a licence to shoot the ball. And ever since he's been a young kid, I've always told him to shoot the ball. So um, there's nothing new there. Now, Mirko, I've got to ask, what's doing with the hair, man? You, you had 20,000 hairstyles last year and you've come back with this mop. Oh, mate, it's all over the place, aren't I? Like... <laughs> No, nah, it'll be it'll be sorted tomorrow. My uh, hairdresser Leon Henry will fix that up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's we're, gonna it's, be it's gonna be a lot shorter and a bit more weird. Not weird, but a bit crazy. But yeah, we need to find your new nickname too. We would do the old DJ Eric sort oh, of worn, mate, worn worn thin on you. I've had fifty million in my whole life, so whatever, mate. Whatever you can come up with, please, please. <laughs> we'll, we'll find something, something for the start. New, of, that, something something new at the start of the season. Yeah, so we we'll, need something that sticks as well. We'll call you the hair, mate. Or something. Oh, who knows, <laughs> Who knows? Thanks for joining us on Croc TV, boys. I'm sure we'll talk to you more throughout the season. And uh, good luck with the first game.